If you're looking for a way to trigger your DSLR's shutter remotely but don't have a dedicated remote, then your Android smartphone may be able to do the trick. To check if your Android is compatible to act as an external remote, then you'll need to check for something called an IR or infrared blaster. Many new handsets have this feature like the Samsung Galaxy S5 and LG G3. Once you've checked that your phone has an IR blaster, head to the Play Store and download DSLR Remote. This is a free app that will let you control your DSLR remotely using your smartphone. Start the app and choose the brand of your DSLR. It's compatible with most major camera brands regardless of model. Now we need to set up the remote option on your DSLR. For Canon models, you can usually find this combined with a self-timer option. So scroll through your shooting modes until you find 2 seconds remote control or any other timer and remote control. On Nikon, you can find this either underneath the mode dial, just look for the remote symbol, or in the menus, then find release mode. Once remote shooting is activated on your DSLR, head back to the app where you should see this screen with four options, remote, timer, random, and HDR. We're gonna choose remote just to get started, but feel free to explore all the other modes as this app is really robust. Depending on your DSLR, the screen will either show up with just a remote release button with an S or a timed remote release button with a 2S. You need to be within line of sight for the remote to work because we're using infrared. Make sure you're aiming the handset towards the infrared receiver on your DSLR. This app has a whole bunch of cool features like the ability to trigger the shutter when the sound reaches a certain level. So for example, you can have the app set to take a photo when a whole bunch of people say cheese really loudly, but not if if people are having a quiet conversation in the same room. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to trigger your DSLR using an Android smartphone. To check out heaps more tips and tricks, head to the CNET how-to article right now.